Hey, Shalom Akim. Shalom Yashar Allah. First off, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, giving double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth through a well. All right, I'm just going to bring out a couple scriptures, Lord willing. You know, talking about this, because I had heard this before, you know, that uh, apparently it was in Kenya. All right, I had made mention of it before. You know, I wasn't too sure where it was at or where it was at, you know, but there was a, you know, a, a, a fake, um, you know, it was a devil that uh, was pretending to be the Lord. All right. Which the Lord doesn't even look like that, you know, but uh, this pastor, which goes to show you, all right, how, how, how far they're willing to go. You know to deceive to deceive the people all right how far they're willing to go to deceive the people all right that pastor was walking around all right he saw a white man pale skin all right no pigment you know which really is a curse he looked at him and he was like yo you know you you want this gig all right so he gave him a gig you know and that was his gig to portray himself to be something that he's definitely not but the complete opposite all right he's abominable all right these edomites are abominable man you know so it says uh fake jesus michael job dies of pneumonia days after his visit to kenya all right it says according to a report by kenyan live news medics at hain hospital have confirmed that Michael Job succumbed to pneumonia while receiving treatment. All right. Now you have these pictures over here. You see how they portray him to be the Lord. And then you have, you know, Jake's over there in, in, in Africa. But then you also have Hamites. But all these people, they, they blindly follow him, man. You know? It says when, <laughs> when Jesus came to Africa. <laughs> all right. Which is completely off, man. It's completely off, you know. But that, that's what you get from, from the majority of Jake, all right? They don't want to listen to the scriptures. They just want to listen to their heart, see what's good, all right? They'll probably take those pictures up and, and put them up on the, you know, up on a, a, on a drawer or something, you know, and, and put some candles around it. You know, that's how stupid our people are, man. That's how fucking stupid our people are. All right. A Kenyan pastor claims he found Yahweh Hamashiach walking on the streets of Kenya, took the white man to his church, gave him a warm welcome, and now his church followers are happy that Yahweh has finally come back. All right. That's not what's going to happen when Yahweh comes back, man. All right. That is not what's going to happen when the Lord comes back. When the Lord comes back, it ain't going to be rainbows and sunshines. All right. So let me get this in Matthew 24 and 23. You know, it says, then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is Mashiach or there, believe it not. All right. Don't believe what, what, what these people are saying, man. First, let me get actually, let me get this one in Ezekiel 28. It says, uh, verse two, son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because thine heart is lifted up and thou hast said, I am a power. I sit in the seat of the most high in the midst of the seas. Yet thou art a man. Now, what is this dude over here? All right. Yeah, granted, it's talking about the uh, Tyree. All right. But I'm using it as an example of this man because this is a man. All right. If he's dead. All right. If he walked, if he died, he is a man or was a man. All right. But it says, uh, I sit in the seat of the most high in the midst of the seas. Yet thou art a man and not a power, though thou set thine heart as the heart of the most high. You see? Get thy Salakia. It says, uh, let me read that again, that last part. Though thou set thine heart as the heart of the most high. Alright? Which he really didn't. Alright, because if he set his heart to, as the heart of the most high, alright, he would he would um be there for Israel, you know, but he's just there to deceive, man. And the most high is not about deception. Alright, the most high is about truth. You know? But that, that's what you get, man. That's judgment. 
just days after days after this all right this dude fucking dies the most high put him to death you see so when your house shot comes back what do you think he's gonna do same thing man he's gonna be putting people to death all right two-thirds of the nation of israel which are you negroes latinos and native americans all right putting the majority of you Isra uh, uh, israelites like your edomites to death and the rest are gonna go in captivity the same thing with the heathen you know the heathen shall be a possession for the children of israel man as it is written all right that's prophecy so now that this one's done let me get uh back in matthew 24 and 23 if any man shall say unto you lo here is mashiach or there believe it not all right don't believe these dudes saying i am the comforter all right because that's blasphemy all right no man is a comforter but Yahweh Shai HaMashiach and the spirit of the Most High. All right? Which is the spirit of truth. You know? The scriptures. You know? And it can also come through through a righteous man. If he's using the scriptures right. You know? That can also be a comfort to a, to a brother. But mainly talking about that, the spirit of the Most High, man. All right? Yahweh Shai is not going to come back in, in, in peace and, you know, he's going to walk the streets and like, like it is written, man, I will not meet thee as a man. All right, let me get that one real quick. You know, that was in, uh, what was it, Isaiah 47? Uh, cover the lungs. Let me start off at verse 2. Take the millstones and grind meal, uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. All right, and that's talking about Babylon, which is America. All right, and the shame of America has been seen, man. You're wicked. All right, all the things you, you hold on to as, as dear and, and as truth are nothing but fables and, and, and scams and lies, man. It says... Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, all right? This is Yahweh through Yahweh Shai. I will take vengeance, I, and I will not meet thee as a man. Now, who was this? If Yahweh Shai said he's coming back and he's not going to meet you as a man, now, who the hell is this? Yahweh Shai is coming back as a power, man, and he's coming back to destroy, all right? So, let me continue in Matthew 24 and 24. For there shall arise false, all right, false Mashiachs, you see, which is not true, and a false prophets, you see. <coughs> now, in this time right now, you have false prophets, you know, people prophesying of, 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 of things that are not going to come, man. People prophesying of things that, will, that the world will not see, which is peace, love, and prosperity. All right, those are prophecies that people want to hear. You know, it says, and also a false prophet is somebody that's not warning the people of the correct things to come, you know, like the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. That's something that's coming, man. Death, famine and destruction is coming too when Yahweh Shai comes back. All right. It says, and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. All right, now, that RFID, all right, is a great, great wonder, all right? You're going to be able to open cars, start up cars with your mind. You know, all these wonders, man, they look like miracles, all right? But they're, but they're not, you see? They're not true. They're not faithful, you know? And, and especially to the ones that receive it, all right? To the ones that, that take that, that chip, they're not faithful. All right, which I bet you anything, the majority, if not all of them, that follow this dude around, all right, this Edomite, they're going to receive that chip, man. All right, because they're not spiritual. They have a zeal, but not according to knowledge, like scriptures say, man. All right, it says, Behold, I have told you before, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. You see? It doesn't matter where they tell you that he's going to be. Don't believe it. 
you know. So verse uh, 27, it says, it says, uh, for as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. All right, because that time is going to be notable, man. All right, you're going to notice it right away. All right, people are going to be scared. It's going to be a time of darkness, gloominess. All right, for verse 28, it says, For whosoever or wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. All right, so wherever Yahweh Shai is going to come from, all right, that's where he's going to take up his elect, and that's where the destruction is going to happen, man. You know, it says for Salakia, so like verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days Shall the sun be darkened All right The tribulation of those days Shall the sun be darkened And the moon shall not give her light And the stars shall fall from heaven And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken All right Now what are those stars that fall from heaven? The ICBM missiles All right You're going to be looking up and seeing all these uh, Shooting stars Is what people are going to think they're, they're going to be all right, but in reality, those are ICBM missiles, man. You know? Oh, shooting stars. Next thing you know, nothing but death and destruction. And then darkness is coming. That's how you know that Shai is here, man. That's how he's going to present himself. All right? Not by walking around and not a, not a fucking person heard it unless you're actually, you know, studying and looking after those type of things. And it says, and then shall appear the sign... Are the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in clouds of the of heaven with power and great glory and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other all right that's how you know you see not by you know pictures that people be posting and not what people believe and not what they think he looks like because the so-called all right the, this so-called character all right this over here that's not even how Yahweh Shai really looks at looks like you know Yahweh Shai is a so-called black man all right a so-called negro with white wooly hair and white you know, and a white face because of the the white hairs that he has all right but his skin tone is actually bronze, all right? He's a brown man, so-called Negro, you know? Which actually, that's a picture right there, you know, in the background. That's supposed to be Yahweh Shai on the left, and that's supposed to be Yahweh on the right, you know? Because Yahweh Shai sits on the right hand of the Most High. See, that's really how, we, how they look like, man. They're really uh, so-called Negroes. All right. But that's how you know when your is coming back, man. Not by the presentation of some some pastor. That's not that's not in the scriptures anywhere, man. You know? So stay aware of these fables and these fakes, man. All right, because the time is is now, man. The time to repent, the time to turn back to Yahbashim Yahushai is right now. All right. So with that, I want to give all honor, glory and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rakakwadash, giving double honors to apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth to rule well. Death to America, man. Shalom.